everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back on site today doing various things but trying primarily to do anything that is outside related, specifically anything with cutting boards. I've got the saws outside, I'm trying to keep them out there, keep it less dusty in here for things like the refrigerator. Uh, and uh, I know we get some rain coming later in the week, so I'm trying to do anything that's outside related now so that I'm able to do all the inside stuff later on when it's rainy, like electrical boxes, cutting them, any kind of sanding work, any, any of that kind of stuff that I can do in the house. Wood putty is another thing I can do when it's raining outside. So I'm trying to avoid that stuff and do more carpentry stuff. What I'm working on right now is kind of the backsplash area behind uh, the sink is going to be right here. Uh, I'm not sure if I did a video about this board, but this board up top, the shelf piece, is the most expensive piece of wood I think in the entire house. It was like something like almost $35 for that board because it's so wide. It's a 12 inch board, which in the real world means 11 and a quarter inches. It has something to do with like the sanding. It's like it starts as a foot wide board, but then when it gets sanded down, you lose three quarters of an inch in sanding. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know why everyone in the industry is like okay with that, that 12 actually equals 11.25, but we're all fine with it. <laughs> because of that, you know, they, they just keep uh, labeling things that way. Um, the reason that this was so expensive is just when you get really wide boards, it, you know, they can't get as many out of like smaller trees and stuff, so you, you really pay a premium for that stuff. But I wanted a nice uh, clean board all the way back because there's foam back there, there's not a lot of support, so I wanted one contiguous surface for the shelf. But anyway, I'm working on the backsplash behind it, and I'm using lots of boards that are not that great. Uh, this one here was a, you know, it had a split down the middle, that's, I didn't cut that, that is a, a slice down the middle from just cracking. It's messy on this side, messy on this side. The tongue up here was all marred up, and I'm using the other piece uh, of it here to, uh, to fill in this backsplash area because uh, on top of this is going to be rock. I've got uh, extra tile from upstairs. They were one foot by two foot tiles. I'm going to take those, cut them down to six inches, so they'll be six inches by two feet, these nice long tiles, and I'm going to be putting them in all along this surface, all along that surface, and all along the back surface, and they're going to cover up the entire thing. So I can put all sorts of ugly boards back in there. You're never even going to know that they're there. So that's what I'm working on today. My dad's back on site tomorrow. The electrical is really moving now. It's almost feeling like a jungle of wires upstairs. Uh, and that's good because once we get through the electrical and get that rough inspection done, there are so many other things that I can start jumping on, like sheathing the outside of the house. We've got to wait for the electrical inspection first because there's wiring that goes on the outside of the house. Once that's done, whew, there's so many other jobs that I can be working on outside at this point, which I can't do right now because I've got to wait for the electrical inspection. That's it. Thanks for watching.